In the last part of this demo, we will show you how you handle the billing and payment for services as a customer and as a service provider. As a customer, you want to get an overview of the current costs for using a service after a certain usage period. For this purpose, you can create reports. In our example, we will create a payment preview report. Select Reports in the Accounts menu. Select the Payment Preview Report. The report is created and displayed. The first section of the report lists the total costs for the given time period for each subscription. Below, each subscription is output separately with its details. In the first row, the service underlying the subscription is displayed. In the summary section, you can find the total costs for events, the subscription as such, and the users. In the details section, costs are broken down. The values in the factor column specify the actual usage period used for calculation. If, for example, the usage period was exactly 5 days and the charges are based on hours, the factor has a value of 120, namely 5 times 24 hours. Service providers can export the billing data of their customers and import this data into their own accounting systems to create invoices. To demonstrate this process, we now switch again to the role of a service provider. Log into the administration portal with the username Mark Spencer. Select the Export Billing Data option. Select Customer Billing Data. Select the organization and the time period for which you want to export the billing data. Click Export. The billing data is exported to an XML file. The XML file is generated according to a defined schema. You can find a detailed description of the schema in the user documentation. The billing data can, for example, be imported to your own accounting system and be used to generate invoices for your customers.